Okay, we have here today another interesting integral from the MIT integration B from 2006. This is problem three. We have the integral of x cosh x over sinh x squared dx. Okay, the first thing I noticed with this one, just looking, if I kind of draw a little line here and separate this, everything here over the right, just this cosh x over sinh x squared, this is actually a pretty easy integral. This is just kind of a formula, but you could rewrite this as, this is actually just hyperbolic cotangent times hyperbolic cosecant. We have a formula for that. But the trouble is we've got this x hanging out here and the x doesn't really work very well with this other stuff. So what I'm gonna need for this is integration by parts. So I'm gonna do the di method, but I don't really wanna do it in red. Okay, so now we have our di table written in black and what we'll do is we'll differentiate x and, and I'll integrate all this stuff because this is gonna be an easy integral. But like I said before, I'm gonna actually rewrite this. I'm gonna put this in the form of hyperbolic cotangent times hyperbolic cosecant. And then on the left side, we'll just differentiate. So the derivative of x, this is gonna be one, and then the derivative of this, this is gonna be zero. Now integrating this, we actually have a formula for this. This is a lot like integrating secant times tangent. So what this is gonna be, this is actually gonna be minus cosecant of x. But I think I'll just do this one out real fast to see how it works. So what we can do is come over here, I'll put it back in this form. If we just look at cosh x over sinh x all squared, we can do a quick u substitution on this. If I make u equal to sinh of x, then du is just everything in the denominator, cosh x dx. So this is gonna turn into du over u squared, but the integral of that is gonna be just minus one over u. Back substituting, this is gonna be the same thing as minus one over sinh x, but one over sinh x is gonna be hyperbolic cosecant x. And that's how we get that value. So for this, we'll just bring down the minus sign. This is gonna be natural log absolute value, hyperbolic cotangent minus hyperbolic cosecant, and we'll put it in absolute values. So for our solution, we'll just copy down the diagonals. I'm gonna go out of order because here, minus one times this minus is gonna give me a plus. So I'm gonna write this as natural log, all this stuff over here. And then we'll copy down this stuff. So we're gonna have minus x, hyperbolic cosecant x, add a plus c, and that's it. Okay, so this was actually really quick and easy just using formulas on this. One note on this, on the MIT solution, their solution looked a little bit different. Let's just look at what MIT got for this. Okay, so for the MIT solution, just notice this part's exactly the same, minus x, cosecant x, and they have the natural log, but the big difference, I have this written this way, and they have it written as a half angle formula for tanh x over two. So what I actually wanna do is just show that this and this is the same. And now we do have a formula for tanh x over two, the half angle formula for tanh and what I'm gonna do is use the formula that this is the same thing as cosh x minus one over sinh x. But now there is a restriction on this formula that is x can't be zero because when x is zero, sinh is zero and we're dividing by zero. But it's actually no problem is if you go back to the original problem, x can't be zero here because we have the same situation in the denominator there. So all I really need to do is take this and rewrite it. So we have cosh over sinh x here. That's gonna be the same thing as hyperbolic cotangent x and then minus one over sinh x, that's gonna be the same thing as hyperbolic cosecant x. But this thing here, this is the same thing we have right here. So it turns out this solution and MIT solution are equivalent, and so I think we're okay. So there you have it, good problem from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.